Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time, <clears throat> ooh, wow, I'm sorry. It's been a long time since I have vlogged, but today's video is gonna be a little bit different because I wanted to share with you guys how I'm gonna transform our patio space for around $200. I bought a patio set and now I'm just gonna kind of like finish everything off. Today is actually my birthday, so I just poured myself a mimosa. Caleb is at work right now and he felt bad that he wasn't here, so he got me mimosa stuff. It is not morning, but I just love mimosas anyway. So I just got back from, let's see, I went to lunch with Caleb and then I was running around at all these stores trying to find some cute stuff for the patio. Find like a rug, lights, candles, plants, all that kind of stuff. It's a hot one today, it's 90 degrees. I was just at the Home Depot looking at plants and I am sweating up a storm. So um, I wanted to show you guys what I got today and our patio set is not here yet. We have our old two chairs and um, side table just out there right now. I'm gonna show you before. It's just the two chairs and the side table and then I'll show you kind of what I'm doing to transform it and what I got from where. So I also took you guys along to um, at home on my Instagram stories, but my phone died. So make sure you guys follow my Instagram stories if you do have an Instagram because I share a lot of like behind the scenes and stuff over there. So this is my Instagram. Make sure to go follow it. It is Emily underscore Freibler. Really easy. I share a bunch of makeup tips and hair tips and fashion tips and all that kind of stuff as well. So Let's see what I got. This is the rug I got. I went to at home. I went to, well, I went to a bunch of different places. I went to TJ Maxx, um, Marshalls, and Ross. And the only one that had a decent rug for a very affordable price was Ross. But I wasn't in love with it. So then I went to at home. And at first I thought, you know, at home is pretty expensive for most things. Um, so I wasn't sure, but I just knew they would have a lot of selection. So I went there. And at first I found these huge ones that are like more of a plasticky feel, not like plastic, but woven plasticky feel, which if you need a big rug for 20 bucks, definitely get that one. But our patio isn't big enough because that was five by seven and that would have filled up like the entire patio. And I didn't want that. I wanted it to be more like, you know, in the center of where the chairs are and stuff. So. I ended up getting this one. I don't know the size dimension of it. It has plastic all around. Because it just says that it's available in all these different sizes. And it doesn't say what size this one is. And it, but it was only $24.99. And there's the pattern. Obviously, I'll show you on the actual you know deck and everything but I'm just kind of opening it up so I really like this because it's a mixture of your traditional like rug feel. And this is indoor outdoor by the way which I thought was kind of nice because if I need it indoor, then it's not going to look like super weird, you know? I mean, I did get a color, colorful rug though. Um, I wanted something colorful because the patio chairs I got were are gray and white and then our other chairs are like a light blue. So I thought this would look really nice. So, and I wanted like palms like this to look really summery. Look how beautiful that is. I would say this is maybe three feet by five feet, which I think is gonna be perfect for our outdoor space. It is buggy here in Mississippi, you guys. So I got citronella candles, and I just think these are just so cute. They had all different colors too, but I wanted a plain one because we have a lot of color going on. So these are from at home, like I said, two pack for $7.99. And I just think they're gonna be a cute little accent as well as obviously lighting them at night to keep bugs away. And then I got these string lights from Target. These were only $9. They have they have like cuter ones if you want to spend like $20 or even $15. I still think these are really adorable. They're like little globes. Um but they're like white strands. I saw some that were like frosted gold on the top which were super cute that I almost got. They were $15, but I just want to keep this on a budget and I feel like they're going to look very similar so why not spend only nine dollars instead of 15 and this comes in a 20 pack where the other one was 10 lights for 15 dollars this is 20 for nine so always on a budget around here 
And then, you guys, this I'm so excited about, but I'm a little bit nervous because it says it's like an indoor plant that needs a ton of sunlight, and our patio only gets sun, I would say, the later half of the day. So maybe like two o'clock on. And it says it needs like six hours of sunlight, so I don't know. I'm hoping it's okay on um, outside. If not, I'll just keep it inside right by the window and then get another one for outside because this plant was only $20, and look how big this is, you guys. Okay, it's by the window, so you can't really see very well, but like this is a big old plant. I love the palm look. It feels very tropical to me. I just love it. And I got it from Home Depot. It is beautiful. Anyway, it's been such a great day. I don't know if I said that, but it's my birthday. I think I said it earlier when I was talking about mimosas. And it's been such a great day. I'm so happy. Like, home decor shopping and filling out a space and making it look homey is, like, my favorite thing ever. So, I need to still get pillows as well, but I'm going to wait on those and maybe look online to see if there's something, you know, super affordable on Amazon. So when you first walk out, this is our patio. It's a pretty big size patio, um, and that's literally all we have out here. So these chairs are just too small for us to be like super comfortable out here. So our other ones have arms and everything like that. And then for guests, we'll still have you know these ones so that four of us can sit out here. So this is what it looks like, and let's get started. Okay, so it's kind of hard to figure out how to set this up without the other chairs, but this is kind of how I have it right now, but it's gonna definitely change, we'll see. All right, so this, these lights came with like the bulbs not attached, I think because they're glass, so you have to screw them in one by one. I'm just being very careful to make sure they are on the threads correctly because the feeling they could break pretty easily if you don't do it correctly. So these are nice too because they have little clip things. Um, so we'll see. I don't know exactly how I'm going to hang these, but it is so hot outside today. It's like 90 degrees and I mean that's like basically every day here, but I always wear jeans into the store whenever I'm running errands because I get cold really easily. And so I sweat my butt off when I'm outside and then I get inside and I'm perfectly fine because they keep it cranked. I mean, basically anywhere does, but in the warm states, for whatever reason, they like to keep it cranked so that I guess it's super refreshing, but oh my gosh, I freeze my butt off every time I go into a store. So I got them all, look at how pretty. And then we'll see if we can hang them up. I feel like I'm gonna need a extension cord so that it can start like at the ceiling and not like on the floor. Does that make sense? All right, I changed my mind. I just got up on a chair and tried to do that. And the hooks are a little too small so we're gonna need to use something else, maybe nails or something. Um. But I'm gonna wait till Caleb gets home because I'm a little scared to do it by myself. Especially because we're on the third floor. I would like to have someone spotting me, you know? So I'm gonna chill and um, we'll resume this later. I'm at Target and all of these are 50% off. So I think I'm gonna get these planters and these ones are only like 248. This one, seventeen forty-eight. Not bad. Hello. It is many, many days later. It is now June twelfth. June twelfth, and it was my birthday when I last showed you everything. I think. I am not sure what I last vlogged. I don't even know if I showed you the patio when we got our chairs. We got our patio chairs like over a week ago and I put them together and everything. I think it was the day after my birthday actually. We got the patio chairs. Um, and uh, I got a rug. Did I show you that? I don't even know. Yeah, I showed you the rug. We got the chairs. 
and today I got pots and I lucked out so much because I went to Target today looking for pots and I was thinking about going to just Home Depot but I was like you know what I'm gonna go to Target and check out their pots because I feel like they'll be cuter and maybe cheap they might be on sale who knows June like the second week of June must be the time where Target's like screw this it is summer all of our patio stuff needs to go because all their pots for plants were 50% off which was insane because I think pots are way too expensive as it is so I got really good deals and then I also got some herbs and a tomato plant as well because I've seen other people put like stuff out on their patios um, at our complex like this one person has a tomato plant and it is going nuts so I wanted to be like that and have herbs and stuff as well so I'm really, really excited. Um, and I feel like if we had mint and basil and stuff like that, like I would use it in cooking and for drinks, actually. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what I got. Here is my little smorgasbord. I got potting mix as well. Um, I got one that says it protects against overwatering and underwatering. So I'm really interested in that. I have no idea if that's like true. But I got a tomato plant, and this is like a baby tomato plant, so um it's for like patios it says patio hybrid tomato um so says full sun six plus hours hopefully that'll be okay because i mean it gets a decent amount of sun um and then i got this sweet basil little baby basil plant i also got mint obviously i'm gonna plant the mint by itself in here because mint goes like insane. And then these two I'm gonna plant together. This is basil and then this is a beady baby cilantro plant. I'm really hoping this grows pretty well because um, I need cilantro. I love cilantro, I use it all the time and I would love them to ha it to have cilantro. Let's see how much scent. Part shade, three to six hours, we'll see. Yeah, hopefully they do okay together, we'll see. Um, and then a tomato plant, let's see what the basil says. Full sun, I don't know, we'll see how they do together. I'm not a master gardener, tell me what you have for experience in the comments. <laughs> so let's go on to these things. So I got a little saucer thing for one of these to go on. This was 348, should have gotten more of those, but oops. Um, then I got two of these little ones. This was 248, like just a basic pot for the herbs. And then I got a white one as well. And then this one I think is so stinking cute. This was like $12 maybe. No, six, six ninety-eight. It was $13.99. And then I got this big one for my big like palm plant, and this was only $17.48. So these prices were amazing, and I can't wait to plant them outside. Okay, so here are our chairs. I don't know if I've showed you. They're like a light gray, but it looks really dark here. It's like a light gray with white cushions, and we have two of them. This is kind of messed up because I was um, just taking pictures out here with this arm. I'm gonna set you guys up here while I replant this and replant all the herbs and everything, but this is what it's looking like right now, and I'll show you what it looks like, you know, as I'm going and when I'm done.
right, so I planted everything. I'm sweating up a storm. The only thing is I was distracted while I was planting the cilantro, and I was supposed to put the basil in with it, and I, like, messed it all up. So I did put the basil in with it, but then the cilantro was super fragile, so I don't know if it's going to make it. It's, like, drooping everywhere, but everything else looks so cute, and I'll probably show it to you with the lights on and stuff. Um, at nighttime, but I'll show you right now just what it's looking like. I rearranged again. I can't decide how I want to set this up. Like, I have, I'll show you. So right now, when you walk out, I have two different, like, little conversation corners kind of thing. So we have that one, and then we have that one. And I have a fan out here, because hello, Mississippi Heat. Um, so I can't decide how I want to do it. I used to have a table in the middle, but I don't think I want to do that right now. So I have it like this. So if you come out, it's like this. I have my mint and my tomato plant and a Centradella candle that we've already been burning. Um, these were from Target last year and I think they still have them as well as this table. And then the chairs are from Wayfair. Um, so I have my big plant over there in the beautiful pot. I need to get little saucer things for both all of these little plants because I totally forgot to do that. And then I have another fresh Centradella candle and then the other things. So very simple. Um, and then I have the lights, so I'll show it to you at night because it's really pretty, um, but I need the fan even though it's ugly. <laughs>